Hey guys, how are we doing? Back for another vlog on Tossa C. Just there went a few days ago for the Villa game, but we're back again for the first Champions League night. Back at the bridge with a full capacity, I believe for nearly two years, something like that. I think it's been a long time since the last game. Was it? I don't, I don't remember the game off the top of my head, but you know, I've got this fresh kit on. Got the main man who absolutely delivered on Saturday, Mateo Kovacic on the back end. Yeah, you know, I did my preview. I'm uh, really, really excited. I'm also see a few other things. But yeah, it's going to be a massive game. Going to be back with Jonathan. Didn't come with him to the Villa game. Going to be seeing what he's saying. Going to try and surprise him, run into him a little bit. And yeah, we'll see what happens from there. But yeah, just the same vlog as usual. It's going to be a great, great game. Really excited. And yeah, keep you updated. I haven't really showed you this before, guys. All the different kinds of vlogs, you know, that the people are already kind of selling stuff. But behind me is the main kind of subway station. It's the main kind of underground for Fulham Broadway, where most fans kind of come in on the tube coming on the train from different parts of London, different parts of the UK, kind of coming to the stadium. Just through there is where the stadium is, but that's just behind me, it's Fulham Broadway. And you know, we have electric scooters, all kind of electric travel people to come and see. Just over there, that spot there is where we do the live streams with Tossa Sea at the end of the game. And you know, I've got my chips before the game today. Jonathan is not going to be happy with me, but I was absolutely starving. So I've got, I've got some chips and onions on them from under stands over there. And yeah, but guys, you know now, this is where people do come from. So if you're ever coming, Visiting the UK, trying to come to a Chelsea game. This is the station you should probably go to, just like five minute walk away from the bridge. You right, man? How are you? You good? You good? You good? good? How are you? To the game. New, new area, they've done a hospitality there. It used to be the West Upper where I used to sit quite often, so interested to see what it's like. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah, be great. line up in what, 25 minutes? So. It's great to see Salon and Gares with the other players and we'll see that. I believe the one with Dixon Tossett seems to be quite accurate, but yeah, we'll see in a second, guys. Yeah, well, the vibe's absolutely immaculate at the game, guys. I'm, I'm so gassed. The fans absolutely flooded in already, just outside the Britannia gate now. Gonna see Dammy in a second, hopefully, probably gonna bump into him. He is very, very tall, so massive. I can see him, I think, I can see him. He's walking away from us, but you know, we'll show you in a second. So I'm back with Dammy again, obviously. For the Villa game, we had Dammy and energy was immaculate. So Dammy, same questions again. Who are you predicting to score for this game? And, and yeah, what are you kind of expecting from today? It's gonna be interesting, because I can't lie, I don't know who's starting, but like, you know what I'm saying? Normally you get a bit of sauce here and there, do you know what I'm saying? Get some information all about the place. But I don't know what's going on, but I'm thinking I'm going to expect a more relaxed line from two people. But yes. Zenit, I don't know if you guys see their bus. Their bus yeah, just yeah, came out. Yeah, yeah. The driver didn't know what's going on because they are scared. <laughs> they are not comfortable in our own ends. <laughs> so I'm expecting us to beat them like freedom. Cool. Yeah. My prediction is another freedom. Another freedom. Whenever I come up to Stanford Bridge, you don't lose. Exactly. Do you know that that is true as well? So we'll take that luck into the game. But in terms of Sound and Gears, obviously mm. his debut was. I say a little bit expected, you know, the pace of the game is a bit too much for him. But you think for today, we should throw him back in, get some more match minutes with Tuchel's tactics, or do you mm. think we should maybe give him a rest and get back up to kind of scratch for the next I game? I feel like this would be the best game to get him back because obviously when you look at the situation at hand, Saul got into it. He didn't know that in the Premier League, you know, when you're in La Liga, you play for Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, Barcelona. Once you're 1-0 up, the game is done. Do you know what I mean? The game the is fully tempo, gone. The yeah, tempo the tempo drops different. down, the opposition are defeated, whatever, whatever. But in Chelsea and in the Premier League, you can't do that. So, exactly. UCL night, I'm expecting so. Potentially, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't start. It's like alongside Jorginho, see, he can sort of get the symmetry going, they can yeah. start merging together and all of that. So, let's see how it goes. So, that's what I'm, that's what I'm predicting. That's what I'm cool, predicting. Cool, cool. Great predictions again. Thanks for coming back on Tossa for the vlog again. Definitely. Are you coming to the next few games? Man City, you coming to Aston Villa to come back? <laughs> Not too nervous <laughs> from Sheffield. <laughs> so, <laughs> but now we'll see. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks for coming on, man. So, back outside the ground again, you know, first, I say Tamas Ignite in a long time, the fans. Flooding in. I always use that phrase that fans are flooding in, but they truly are flooding in. And yeah, you can see behind me everywhere you look blue shirts, blue shirts, and blue shirts. And yeah, be in in a second, show you the West View, show you everything that's going on. And yeah, so just behind me, guys, is a statue of Pierre Osgood, obviously a Chelsea legend of the past. And he is one of the few players that have got a statue. Hopefully, we'll see as for the Quetta when he retires, John Terry, Frank Lampard, a few other players get a statue. But this is Peter Osgood, as you can see there. And yeah, just behind me, we're about to go into the West View, which is where we're sitting today. Newly renovated area, and we'll show you that in a second. So 
guys. Yeah, we're in the stadium in the West View. I've never really sat here before, but it's a really nice kind of renovated area. They've got a new kind of pub area inside, and yeah, the view from here is absolutely beautiful. It's actually, I'd go to say it's one of the best views of Stamford Bridge. Come to the view, you can see the wall works happening right now. I'll show you that in the next clip. But John, what are your opinions on the seat, Alex? I love it. I used to sit here with my dad, so you know they have changed it, changed to the West View. Um, but yeah, just the, the view. We're near the halfway line. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game. Fantastic view. We've got a strong lineup. Um, first, as I've said in the previews, uh, the watch, uh, you know, the watch along, the pre-match, this vlog. I'm excited. It's Champions Ignite, and I'm absolutely buzzing to be here. Yeah, there's, there's around 10, 15 minutes till the game will kick off. The lineup, very, very interesting. Johnson, we've seen Sound against is not involved. The Kepa tweet kind of threw off a bit. So, what are your opinions on the lineup? It's a strong lineup. It sends a message, in my opinion, from Tuchel that we're here. Uh, and we mean business. We needed to start this group off with a bang. He's gone with the pivot that I think a lot of people wanted. I wanted to see Sal, get, see him get some confidence. It's different tempo and um, in a Champions League compared to a Premier League game. I know he struggled a bit at the weekend, but I thought it was a good game to start him. Same with Chilwell, I thought it was a good um, opportunity to start him. But you know, as we've said, um, I think it's a strong lineup and one that I'm expecting the car to take advantage of with Zich, you know, fitting in the ball, Mason Mount back, you know, all that controversy about the banner. Uh, let's see him. Do you see good today? Yeah, sure. I understand everything you say. It's going to be a great game. And yeah, I'm just really excited. Let's get into it. We'll show you some clips in a second about the game. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So it's just gone half time at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea nil, Zenit nil. I'm going to be honest, a really, really boring first half. No real significant chances right towards the end. Lukaku had that header and yeah, went over. You can tell zero minute stoppage time is basically other words for it was a dead half. But Jonathan, quickly summarise the half. Um, what do you think of it? Who really impressed you? Trying to summarise it for the fans. I think the defensive looks solid. Uh, the tempo just hasn't been there really. Um, you know, when we get in the final third, um, we're trying to get into the car, we're trying to take too many touches. We just need to shoot. We've had, I think, three, four attempts. That main one, like um, Taryn said about the header from the car, we just haven't had enough shots. We haven't like, got in behind enough. And as I said, we're taking too many touches. And it's to the detriment because they're getting men behind the ball. They're playing sort of a five, uh, two, three. So whilst we control the midfield, we press really well. Especially the first 10 minutes, we press up really high. We kept winning the ball back, but we're not doing enough when we win the ball back. Um, I think defence looks solid, Christian Sim looks really good. Mendy's been tested once from a long range shot from the corner. Other than that, we're comfortable but we're just we're not penetrating. We're not um, getting between the lines. Matt hasn't quite looked himself. The yeah. second half I'm looking for us to come out. We can get a goal and change the game. Uh, it, will, it will certainly go in our favour in my opinion. We you, get one and the floodgates could open. Exactly. You mentioned about Lukaku how we're playing off him. It's not really working. I think the main thing this game that we can do to score a goal get into Lukaku quick and get bodies around him. Yeah. Get the link ups. Get, get shots away straight away. And I think Ziek. It's taking a bit too much time. Lukaku is still a bit unsure where ZX is going to be at, at what time. So, do you think maybe it's time for Kai Havertz to come on? As he's very good at playing off, you know, at Bayer Leverkusen off Kevin Volland did it really well. And his late runs, his intelligence in the box, second to none. So, are you thinking when do you want that substitution to happen for, for Kai Havertz? Yeah, 100%. I think five, 10 minutes. Let's see what happens. And ZX is, is probably the first one that's going to come off. Someone like Havertz, like I said, we've got options on the bench. We've said it before. Um, we've got a really strong bench tonight. We've got five subs on the Champions League, so if it's not quite going our way after five, ten minutes, we need to change it. We need a goal. Uh, we need to win this game. So, yeah. you know, Juve tuning up currently at Malmo, as expected. So, yeah, we, we need to respond to it. I've come out of a bit more tempo. Um, and as, as we said, it's very simple. Don't shoot, you don't score. We need exactly. To the control in the midfield has been good. The defence has been solid, but we've summarised it out quite well. The attack has not been up to scratch, but I believe we can get a goal in the second half, whether it's a 1-0 or 2 -0, I don't care. I want to get off with a good start. But yeah, we'll update you guys if there's any significant moments, a chance, uh, you know, a goal either end, a free kick, other thing. You know, Jonathan's been trying really hard to get corners on camera, but you know, we'll update you in a sec, guys.
here with Nikita, a Zenit fan. And yeah, we're just going to quickly ask him for his thoughts on the game. So Nikita, obviously, 1-0, it wasn't their best game. Zenit, they, like, they, they sat back quite a lot. But what were your thoughts on the game as well? Yeah, I mean, uh, in general, away games are <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> like... Uh, yeah, we, we play pretty defensive, of course, five defenders, but um, like with uh, our new Brazilian players, Claudinho, Malcolm, we had a bit more attacking, well, not so attacking at least, but like, you know, the, there were more opportunities for Zeni than usual. But yeah, we made it more difficult for Chelsea, of course, to um, yeah come through. And I think, yeah, in the end, Lukaku with the header, uh, inevitable. But, uh, <laughs> I think we held pretty good and yeah, unfortunately Juba didn't score there. That was there a really well. big chance. Yeah, yeah, got in completely, I was just you know, going to ask you about that. Yeah. I was just going to ask you about that. If that yeah. would have went in, you would have gone back to Russia yeah. with a one or draw. <laughs> How would the fan base would have reacted? How would the, the home country would have reacted? A, a, good, a good point. Did you expect anything more than a point, basically? No, not really. Like, uh, I think it was a fair result, 1-0. Uh, I think uh, Chelsea had three big chances. He had one big one. And uh, overall, uh, I'm not that un unhappy. Uh, unfortunately, not that many fans, of course, yeah. in the away section, but uh, well, it will come. One cool, day it will cool. come. <laughs> and in terms of the Russian Premier League this season, you guys are doing quite well. Yeah. How's everything going? Which kind of players are standing out for you this season? And which players would you say really stood out tonight on the pitch? Yeah, so uh, definitely Malcolm uh, in the Russian League. Uh, yeah, Brazilian style, so uh back has some plays and uh, yeah. He brings a lot of like, uh, how do you call it? Um, flair. Flair. flair to the game, exactly that. And uh, our new signing, Claudinho, uh, he played pretty well at the Olympic Games for Brazil. Yeah. So, uh, it's good cool to win the goal. I think he, showed pretty, yeah. he gave nuts to uh, Reese James, I think, here in the yeah. corner. So that was uh, a bit of fire in them. Uh, but uh, yeah, in the Premier League, uh, in the Russian Premier League, yeah, Zenit is uh, by far the strongest team and uh, there's no problem. But yeah, to, to go on the big stage against Chelsea, against yeah, later on Juventus, I think uh, we're still level too low for that. Yeah, it's a big so, step up, isn't it? Yeah, so it's uh, most likely third place we should go. Yeah. I think uh, Malmo should be doable. But uh, yeah, I hope Chelsea wins again. <laughs> thanks. No, thanks, thanks for your time, man. Really, really good to have you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, for having on, uh, thanks for having you on the key time. Yeah, yeah thanks for giving us. <laughs> Hey guys, how are we all doing? Are we okay? I hope you enjoyed that kind of quick kind of compilation of all the Chelsea players' cars. And I must say, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, although you might not be playing a lot, you do drive a very nice car and so do a lot of the other players. But yeah, I mean, in terms of the game, just happy with the three points. Not really much to add. You know, the Zenit fan, uh, Nikita, gave a great perspective. Dami uh, in the preview, you know, we had a lot of great perspectives on this particular vlog. Jonathan, always a great, great uh, co kind of host on the vlogs. Always great to have him on. But yeah, we've had enough opinions. But just quickly to summarize, three points is all that matters. It wasn't the greatest win, but Romelu Lukaku made the difference as usual, guys. Great, great win for the boys. And I'm happy. Looking forward to Juve on the 29th. Won't be going to that game personally, but a lot of more exciting games coming up on the channel very, very soon. You guys will see in the future. But apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog. I really do. And we'll see you for the next one.